This is Streamline News for Thursday, April 12th, 2012. Brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. The Eindhoven Swim Cup started today in the Netherlands, and a few swimmers are using the competition as a tune-up to the upcoming European Championships. Sarah Stroestrom battled the mighty Dutch sprinters in the 100 freestyle and semifinals today and posted a quick 53.29, the fastest time in the world so far this year, by just one hundredth of a second. Stroestrom is riding on a wave after posting the fastest hunter free in textile in history with a 5309 four months ago in the same pool she's competing in today. And the Dutch are the reigning Olympic and world champions in the 400 free relay. Three of the Dutch relay swimmers, Renomi Kroma Wijojo, Marlene Belthaus, and Inga Decker, qualified second through fourth for tomorrow's final. Femke Heemskirk, the fourth member of that Dutch relay squad, is not at the meet. Sebastian Verschuren, a finalist in the 100 free at last summer's World Champs, will be the top seed for tomorrow's men's 100 free final with this time of 49-15 today. Stefan Nystrom, Sweden's mainstay in sprint freestyle for at least 10 years, qualified second. Bruno Fratis from Brazil, who's burst onto the world scene last summer in the 50 free, so I'm a 49-09 in prelims, but scratched from semifinals. Sebastian Coe, the head of London's Olympic Organizing Committee, announced today that he believes China will win the most medals at the Olympics, citing a broad range of ability by, beyond their staple sports such as diving and gymnastics. Coe speculated that the United States and Russia will be second and third in the medal tally. China was second on the medals table when they hosted the Olympics in Beijing in 2008, winning six medals in swimming and 11 in diving. We had hoped there would be no more news to report for a while about wayward coaches punished for sexual relationships with swimmers after our reports yesterday on two such coaches. But late yesterday, USA Swimming announced that former Gator Swim Club Brian Woodward was officially added to their ban for life list after he was arrested for soliciting a child for sex in January. Woodward had 30 days to appeal his addition to the list, but now that those 30 days have passed, Woodward is now forbidden from coaching or any other activities USA Swimming members participate in. That's going to do it for Streamline News today. Thanks for watching.